We are here at the Mad Hatter. It is one of my favorite restaurants here. It is a small, um, slightly expensive French American style. Definitely recommend having a reservation. Don't have tons of spots. Even when it's not at half capacity, they don't have tons of spots. So this will be our third time eating here. It is our 11th wedding anniversary. So it is a special occasion for sure. Definitely save this restaurant for special occasions. It's a really nice restaurant. So we do have a back parking lot too and they have beach access um, which they will tell you that it's you know uh, to see the sunset but it's only definitely for people who are eating here and it's pretty cool I'm just gonna look at the beach real quick we still have 10 minutes till our reservation And there is the beach. I'm not going to walk out hunting right yet. I don't want my shoes all sandy, sandy. But here is, this is a small resort right next door. Very cool. Look at how low the tide is. Crazy low tide. And a lot of dragonflies. That is a lot of dragonflies. I've never seen any dragonflies. Is that what it is? for you sir thank you uh, now these are single-use menus of course so what that means is they're yours okay so if you like take them with you feel free at the end of the meal okay we have our glasses of wine available on the top of those menus I also have a wine list here that has our bottles of wine do you want to take a look at that yeah. no okay and then is ice water okay for the meal tonight yeah fantastic perfect. welcome to the Mad Hatter enjoy thank you Thank you. 
having tuna. Robert, you can pick up your bread. You can pick your bread. Look at all that. Red eggs. This is the seafood delight. Pull your base. Pull your base. What is that lobster for dinner? I see a mussel. Move your lobster a second. Oh, I see a shrimp. Just leaving the beach and Robert sees another one of those. No, it's a different one. I don't think it's an iguana, but it's no. still a big lizard. It's a bigger lizard. I'm not for sure if you can see. Here, hold that back so I don't. Oh, it's like a, oh, what, a skink or something. See right there? There he is right there. Yeah, not an iguana, but definitely bigger than the typical lizards that run across in front of your path when you're walking. Very cool. Alright. Coconuts. You can tell it's been very stormy lately. There is downed coconuts everywhere. This is the bag of apples in the water. That's where you eat and have a great view of the beach. Alright. We just left the Mad Hatter. It was a really nice dinner. We both enjoyed everything we got. Uh, for the both of us, it was $160. It is an expensive restaurant, <laughs> um, but it is our 11th anniversary, wedding anniversary, so um, that's why we chose that restaurant. We ate there on our honeymoon, and then I think we ate there like six years later on our uh, Valentine's Day. So um, definitely we don't go there every trip, but it was really nice. You did have to wear masks inside, but as soon as you could sit down, you could take them off, so I'm not for sure what the point was wearing them for the two feet when you're, I don't know. Because even when we were getting ready to leave, Robert wasn't wearing his mask because literally the door is 50 feet away. And the waiter's like, no, no, put your mask on. Like, and what's weird is you okay. got people you got people talking that yeah, don't yeah. stop talking. And they keep talking and they keep talking. So and, there's... And, and that's putting... Germs. I mean, yeah, you're putting germs out there. It just seems weird to me. The whole thing doesn't fit together. Yeah, the whole mask thing. It's definitely... You're just wearing the mask to make everyone else feel better because they ain't protecting you from all those talking germs. I think um, there was a little more tables within the restaurant than I was expecting. How many did we say? There was nine. Nine tables. But some of those tables had six people. Um, two of the tables had six people. Okay. So it, I did not feel like the tables were six feet apart. I'm sure they are. Those people because, next to us were closer than six feet. Because Sanibel has regulations. Um, but anyway, you know what? It's the risk we take going out to eat. I'm not worried. We're both very healthy. We try our best to be safe, but we just needed to get out and have a great dinner. And it was, it was a great dinner. Now, oh my God, the sun, my face is a blur. Anyway, um, we're going back to the resort um, because everything we need is at the resort and it's gonna be, sun is setting. So we're gonna go walk the beach one more time as the sun sets and Robert's gonna do a little night fishing. I'm not gonna be able to record that because it's dark out. <laughs> Can't use normal flashlights because it is turtle season. So uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get a couple pictures, hopefully, if he catches anything. So anyway, that is it. That's the Mad Hatter. I highly recommended it, or I highly recommend it if you want a nice restaurant for a special occasion.